Så vi gør. I got something on the swim bait, plastic paddle tail. Baby, come on up. What we've got here is the yellow jack. Uh, you can see it's got a bit of a yellow tint to it, and that's where it gets its name from. And then it's also had this iridescent blue on it. But uh, for those that are wanting the Jack Crevel catch and cook, I'm still working on it. However, given the opportunity, I will take the cousin, which is this guy, every single time. <laughs> Uh, the quality of this is uh, grade A, so it is a sashimi quality, eat it raw, just as good as wahoo, tuna, and those above. Um, what we're going to do is to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and flay this one out, and we're going to serve it up three different ways. So I've got that nice yellow jack that I caught today and then I haven't done a catch and cook on one of those before. Uh, it's a, such a really good treat of a fish to have. It, it ranks right up there with like the wahoos and the, the tunas in regards to the quality of the meat. Cereal mackerels as well. So um, I was kind of undecided on how I wanted to treat it. Um, so I figured what I would do is a sampler plate. A little bit of everything. So I came up with four basic uh, fish dishes and used that yellow jack to make each one of them. So what we've got is, starting up front here, I've got uh, some yellow jack sashimi. Nice and easy. Nice whitish pinkish uh, fillets there. Then I am going to do a, a fried yellow jack sushi. Then I'm going to be doing a Yellow Jack ceviche, and then Yellow Jack fried. Okay, so we're gonna have it four different ways. All right, I went ahead and prepped all the ingredients. So we've got the fried fish fingers and fillets. 
went ahead and cubed up one of the half fillets and that's going to made up with the, these veggies to uh, make the ceviche. So we've got some vine ripened tomatoes, avocados, jalapeno, yellow onions, and cilantro. Already uh, sliced up another one of the half fillets and that's going to be the sashimi. And of course we've got the makings for our California roll with a uh, yellow jack sushi. So anyways, that is it and let's get started. All right, let's get started with the ceviche. I've got the nice and cubed into smaller portions so that they'll basically the acid cook a little bit uh, quickly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in a bowl. And my next door neighbor gave me a bunch of uh, key limes. So that's their native ingredients. Nice and juicy. As you can see there, just like the key lime pie stuff. And I'm going to squeeze, wow, they get a lot of juice in these. Wow. Ooh, yeah, I filled all those cuts now where the spine, fish spines have got me. Oh, burns. So what we're just gonna do is, man, those are beautiful colors there. So we just want enough just to saturate all the pieces of meat there. And then I'm going to go ahead and put, cover it. Oh, the burns. <laughs> oh, man, that hurts. Um, and then I'm going to put it in the refrigerator, saran wrap it, and then just let it uh, basically cook for an hour. Doesn't have to be long. We're talking very fresh quality uh, flay meat there. Man, I'm only going to need a couple of these little tiny key limes. Man, they're juicy. These would probably take six of the standard uh, grocery store uh, green limes. These are just so much juice in them. Oh man, that hurts. All the braided line cuts, the uh, fish spine cuts and pokes in my hands. <laughs> yeah, that's all I need right there. Wow, I was thinking I was gonna need all of them. But, all right, so, it's saturated now. Take a couple of these seeds out. And uh, now I can go ahead and put this in the refrigerator and let it cook. And you can already see that it's starting to turn the whitish. That's basically the acid burning it. And that's how we're gonna get the, the cooked part of it. So I'll give it about an hour and then I'm gonna take it out and add the rest of the ingredients. Moving on to the sushi, pretty basic. Um, I went ahead and just did some specifically made sushi rice and uh, I think it was two cups of water to one and a half cups of the sushi rice. And then I, once that's cooked through, I went ahead and cut in just a few dash of this rice vinegar. Um, this is the pre-seasoned one. All you really need to mix is rice vinegar, sugar, and salt and just get that little bit of an acidic uh, tang to it. And then splash some on here and then just cut it in and that's good to go. Then to do our kind of a California style roll, we've got avocados, celery, and then I uh, fried the uh, yellow jack and then cut the fingers in half so that they're a little bit uh, thinner, so easier to roll. So let's go ahead and make some sushi rolls. All right, we've got our little bamboo mat I went ahead and put in a Ziploc bag so I don't have to worry about cleaning up afterwards. Um, got my nori sh freshly shipped in from Fresno since I can't really get it here in Key West. And then we're going to take some of our specialty sushi rice and we're going to spread that around there. Don't need it to be really super thick or totally covering the whole thing. Keep your fingers damp always helps so it doesn't stick to you. Okay. 
and just want a nice even layer. Spread it out, doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, then we can lay our ingredients there. Got our yellow jack. Nicely put in there. A bit of avocado. Then we've got some cucumber. And then to California it up a bit, we're gonna go ahead and put some cream cheese as well. Just to add a little bit of weirdness to it. Okay, ready to roll it up. Nothing too complicated, just like uh, rolling up a nice Key West cigar. Just get it started, press down. You can see that edge going there, and we're just gonna keep rolling it and tucking it. And then pushing down to keep it condensed. And then we'll keep that plastic off. Then we can start rolling it up and over itself. And always condensing as you go. And keep rolling it, rolling it. Almost to the end there. And all the way over the edge, we're gonna tuck it in with your fingers in there to kind of compact it around. Give it one good roll, tuck, and roll. And there we go. Nice, beautiful roll. Ready to be sliced up. For the second one, we're gonna do an inside out version, which is basically having the uh, rice on the outside rather than on the inside. Same deal though to get started. We're just gonna wanna put a Nice light layer. On this one to spice things up, we're just gonna put some toasted sesame seeds. And that'll just give it a little contrast for a little bit of flavor, a little bit of a contrast. There we go. And then we're gonna pat that down because we need it to stick pretty good. All right. Now we're gonna do the flip. Just like that. Then we can start loading it up with our ingredients. Fish. Celery, avocado, and a dollop of cream cheese. There we go. Okay, same thing, just rolling it back over. 
Getting it started. There it goes. And once it starts going, just keep rolling it up. Nice little tuck in. And there we go. All ready for the slicing. And there you go. Got our two rolls all ready to cut and serve. Okay, the uh, Yellow Jack was uh, marinating in that lem well, lime juice for a little over an hour. Basically, I just look for it to uh, make sure that it looks that whitish translucent color all the way through. Then it uh, it's pretty much done. People do it overnight if you want. It's just whatever you want to. Um, only other suggestion is that you can drain off some of the excess uh, lemon juice so that it doesn't overpower your ceviche. Now all I'm going to do is just start adding some of these ingredients here. Some tomatoes. Definitely want the, all of the avocados. I like lots of onions as well. Decent amount of jalapenos sprinkled around for a little bit of heat. And then I like cilantro as well there. So we can give this a quick mix up and talk about healthy. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> What else you could really do to be much more of a healthy dish than this? And that, my friends, is how ceviche is born. And then you can just, of course, salt and pepper to taste. I like a bit of pepper on mine. What? There you go. Beautiful ceviche. Our sampler plate is complete. Got our two different kinds of yellow jack sushi. Nice fresh garden ceviche. Tempura battered fillets and fingers. And some good old basic sashimi. So there you go. Sampler plate complete. All right, sampler plate complete. Now we get to taste our little masterpiece here. To be honest with you, the ceviche is the one that's been making my mouth water. Yeah, the ceviche is the highly recommend one. Oh, that's just so amazing. A little California style. Just a very small hint of the cream cheese, but can't really taste it that much. I think it does add it, I mean, with the avocados as well, that kind of California style stuff is very, very good. A little bit of sashimi style. This is ice cold, so. Very, very light. Very close to like the Ciro and the mackerel and the uh, Wahoo, I mean. 
But this actually tastes better than the Ciro, I think. The Ciro mackerel was, had no flavor at all. This has a little bit of a light tuna taste to it. So maybe it has a little bit of oil content more than like the Ciro was. So it's actually really good. So that's a definitely a good one there. And I've just got my fish fingers. This is actually going to be a, a sandwich tomorrow and my leftover veggies. I want to make a nice sauce for it and do a sub sandwich. So I can't eat all these up. These are going to save for tomorrow. But that's it. Complete. Four different options if you choose to make them. Pretty easy. But I am tired. It is 5.28 in the morning. <laughs> Some doing errands all day. Fishing to the evening till nighttime. Editing and doing catch and cooks until 5.30. <laughs> so this is my breakfast. But anyways, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next video. Bye.